T-minus 90 seconds. In a few moments, the test conductor will authorize committing the motor, and the test control coordinator will turn the firing key switch. T-minus 80 seconds. Test control coordinator, stand by to commit the motor. Standing by. T minus 70 seconds. Commit the motor. Motor is committed. The motor is committed and the T computer is in control. Seconds. Sirens are blaring. This test is a go. T minus 50 seconds. T minus 45. The rocket motor is now armed. T minus 40 seconds. T minus 30 seconds. Sounds of a high speed camera. T minus 20 seconds. T minus 15. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, fire. We have ignition of the Ares 1 first stage five segment solid rocket motor. display of power. Plus 40. 22 million horsepower. Plus 50. system is now being activated. Approximately 10 seconds more. Tail off Plus here. Completion of burn as expected. Now you see moving in from the right in the lower part of your screen the CO2 quench arm. It's like a large CO2 fire extinguisher to put out the fire on the nozzle and the internal components of the rocket motor so the engineers can see the condition that they were exactly at the end of firing. Very important for collecting the data that's necessary. Everything looked normal through the firing. It's approximately 30,000 pounds of CO2 that will be put through that arm into the rocket motor. There you see the beautiful northern Utah sky with a lot of dust. During the test, the flame exited the rocket motor out of the nozzle at about Mach 3, burned for approximately 123 seconds. And the temperature of that flame approached about 4,500 degrees Fahrenheit. This is approximately two-thirds the temperature of the sun's surface. 
At this temperature, steel does more than melt. It boils. And the sand that was placed around just aft of the rocket motor got hot enough to actually turn to glass. To recap, the NASA and ATK Space Systems team just completed the first firing of the Ares-1 first stage motor, Development Motor 1. There will be a news conference at 3.45 p.m. Eastern here on NASA TV. That concludes our live coverage of the Development Motor 1 firing. Thank you very much for joining us today.